but Zeus's son grew envious of mankind and sought to corrupt his father's creation. This was Ares, the god of war. What's up, it's BD here, and I want to start today's video off with a serious question. Where would we be without Final Mouse? They have this ability to tell us what we need before we need it. Seriously, while other companies had braided and rigid cables, they were going with soft paracord cables. While everyone was trying to make their mice feel like bricks, Final Mouse told us we needed holes in our mice. Now in 2021, while everybody is using plastic mice, they have come out with a metal magnesium mouse in the form of the Starlight 12. And then I mentioned it's wireless. Once again, pushing the mouse game forward. And as we've seen, companies in the space are already trying to develop metal mice just as soon as this one came out. However you feel about free thinking, it's working. All right, I'm down with free thinking if it gets us mice like the Starlight 12. But no matter how you feel about the company, if you even care the slightest about what's happening in the mouse space, then you need to be paying attention to what Final Mouse is doing. So here we have it, the Starlight 12, it's coming in at $189, 40 more dollars than the number two mouse, the Logitech G Pro X Superlight right now. But that mouse is plastic and you're getting a metal freaking mouse here. So first let's check out what's in the box. They've got this Greek God of War theme going on, the S and the M shape signifies the size on the box. These come in four different colors named after the Greek gods, Ares, Hades, Achilles, and Zeus. At first, I didn't like the designs, but it looks much better in person with the detailed etchings and the paintings on the mouse. Also in the box, you get the wireless receiver and the USB micro charging cord. I do wish the charging cord was a little bit softer for the times that you do have to charge the mouse and use it at the same time. The puck has some rubber feet on it to keep it in place. I really like the simple look of the receiver overall. Since we mentioned it during the G Pro super light review it's only fair to mention it here that this has usb micro now it's not going to be a deal breaker in everyday use but final mouse already put all this cutting edge technology i just wish they went like like a centimeter more and just put that USB-C into this mouse, you get faster charging and you don't have to have multiple cords. You know, we're phasing out micro right now. So it will be nice to have seen a USB-C on this mouse. The Starlight 12 features a magnesium top with side shell with a Ultim plastic base. The plastic base was used to allow the wireless signal to escape. The whole mouse feels solid, but the bottom base is really, really thin. If you press down against it, it's really weak. I do worry about the bottom, especially for those of you guys who rage and like to slam their you know, their mouse down on the desk. You might crack this thing because it's so frail. So it might not be the best choice for those of you guys with anger issues, but for the rest of us, uh, you know, as normal gamers that, you know, rage a little bit, it should be fine. The sides do flex, but no side button actuation going on. You can feel it most where the magnesium chassis and the Ultim base meet. Usually I would count this as a negative, but since they are using the metal, it gives you a nice grip on the mouse. The mouse kind of flexes in on the sides. Each copy is also serialized, which is pretty cool. There's 2,500 made of each one of these. So why magnesium over plastic? What's the big deal? Well, magnesium is a stronger and stiffer plastic. Plastic needs more volume to give it a similar strength. This means a lighter mouse with the small hitting 43 grams and the medium hitting around 48 grams. The weight feels really, really good. It actually doesn't feel overly light. I can't believe this mouse is only six grams more than the G-Wolves HSK, which is essentially half a plastic mouse with no side buttons. And it's 18 grams less than the Logitech G Pro X Superlight and five grams less than the ultralight too despite having the same dimensions and a wireless battery inside truly impressive stuff in fact the medium actually weighs just as much as the old ultralight too pretty crazy now i thought this would feel like nothing in my hand but it does have a nice weight to it especially where the battery is near the back if the mouse was too light it could actually lessen your control over the mouse final mouse has done it again by striking a nice balance between too heavy and too light i think this 43 grams is like the next 60 grams we'll see now, these feature ptfe feet they're smooth like butter and it'll allow you to glide uninhibited on your mouse pad and the ones on the starlight 12 are great on the bottom side you'll see their new on off button for the wireless it feels a bit frail but i haven't seen or felt any issues with it the buttons on the Starlight 12 are some of the best in the business per usual when it comes to Final Mouse. The Mouse 1 and 2 are crispy. They feel a bit heavier than the prior Ultralight 2s, which were some of my personal favorites. There's just enough pre-travel before the switch is actuated and the bottom out is nice and soft. No metal on metal action going on. I've seen the videos where people have had rubbing issues and you can hear that metal. I haven't had any issues on both of my copies of the mice. It's just simple QC stuff, send it back. Usually Final Mouse is really good with replacing mice, so 
I'm not really too worried about spending $190 on this because you know that Final Mouse will send you a replacement. The side buttons have slight pre-travel and a nice crispy click to end it. Love, love, love it. The DPI button is up top that can't be reassigned since this is a plug and play mouse. The DPI button feels nice and goes in the typical 400, 800, 1600, and 3200 DPI. The scroll wheel is roughly the same as the Ultralight 2 with a different texture. The rubber is a little bit softer and the stops are more defined. The scroll button feels great as well. The scroll wheel isn't my favorite because if you're going super fast, it kind of feels a little bit scratchy, but if you're just doing it one stop by one stop, it's not going to be a big deal. Now, one thing I was worried about was the etching on the mouse. I felt like I was going to feel it with my fingers, but it disappears once you start gaming with this mouse. When I do feel it, it kind of acts as like a nice surface for my fingers to pivot on. All right, so you guys know what time it is. It's time for that sound test. Let's drop it. The smalls dimensions are the same as the Ultralight 2s. I go with this mouse if you have smaller medium hands. If your hands are medium, you can go claw grip and your fingers will fit. You might have to curl a little bit more, but the benefits of the smaller mouse outweigh the short-lived discomfort. My hands are 19 by 8.5 centimeters, and I prefer the small version of this mouse because I feel like it just allows for faster flicks because it's just less volume of a mouse. If you have medium-sized hands and you palm grip, move up to the medium. If you have medium-sized hands or larger hands and you palm grip, just move up to that medium size, which is right in between the Ultralight 2 and the Air 58, which was kind of too big for me personally. All right, so I already know what question I'm gonna get. How does this compare to the Razer Viper Mini and am I gonna be switching? Well, I'll just say this much. After getting this mouse, I feel like I need the Razer Viper Ultimate, a mouse I've been complaining and, you know, being kind of thirsty over and wanting Razer to create, I want that mouse less. And you guys know how much I wanted that mouse. The Razer Viper Mini is more comfortable. The grooves on the one and two, the sides and the back hump is just better in my opinion. But Razer is slacking and the Starlight 12 is here. And the Starlight 12 is no slouch when it comes to comfort as well. But I do wish it had more of a hump in the back, maybe for the claw grip users out there. The medium is a little bit shorter than the G Pro X Superlight. And I actually think that the medium is more comfortable than the Logitech. Tech G Pro X Superlight. I still feel like the Xi Rail is a better fingertip mouse overall, but for everything else, this is superior. Versus the Hadi S Wireless, I still prefer the shape of the Starlight 12, and this currently has a better sensor than the Hadi S as well. Now versus the Orochi V2, this shape is more comfortable, but the Orochi is still the better claw grip mouse. So holding the Orochi next to the Starlight 12, the Orochi feels like a brick. Now this is featuring their new final sensor with the Godspeed Wireless. It has 160 hours of battery life with a high quality quality jock lithium ion battery which is insane the highest in like an fps mouse that we had seen before was like 80 hours it's hard to say just how long it will last but i'm sure final mouse wouldn't put themselves in a situation where their quotes are off by 80 hours compared to the competition now in my timing using the mouse i haven't charged it once for the first time ever in a final mouse they now offer a thousand hertz pulling rate instead of the usual 500 haters what are you gonna say now they got a thousand hertz on this mouse. They did it. You asked, they did it. Now the sensor also has a really nice lift off distance. It's not high like a 3335 sensor, which you know, you could be hovering over the mouse pad and you'd still get some movement. This one is really low to your mouse pad. I'm feeling like this is a variant of a 3389 sensor from PixArt. I also did some testing where I had the other receivers from other companies like Logitech and Razer next to the final sensor, you know, puck and I had no interruption, so it's gonna be solid if you wanna take this to a LAN. Overall, my experience with the mouse has been really good. Nothing has broken or anything like that. The coating feels really good. Doesn't get too slippery when in use. When your hands do get a little bit sweaty, it doesn't change the whole feel of the mouse like some others do. Just feels like you need to wipe your hand like you would normally do. So in my experience with this mouse, it's not gonna make you, you know, aim miles better than everything else. I think it's more revolutionary in the materials that it uses. This is gonna be a big step forward in terms of durability 
durability and weight. Let's not get this twisted. It's a big deal. It's good, but we just have so many good mice out that it's it's getting to the point where there's like diminishing returns on how good your aim can actually be. And it just comes down to individual skill. But if you just completely suck, I think the starlight will make a difference in your gameplay. That being said, this mouse is a fantastic mouse. I highly recommend it, you know, if not for this new final sensor, for the wireless. There's a lot to love about this mouse. It'd be cool to see them add magnesium to the bottom somehow or make a unibody. I know that would take away the ability to kind of switch out your switches, but that would be pretty cool to see a unibody magnesium mouse. That'd be pretty sick. Now, final mouse is promising that everybody that wants a starlight we'll get one. We'll see if that holds true. I think that's the only thing holding Final Mouse back at this point is the availability of their mice. That's why you don't really see them on top fives. If they can keep these in stock or at least somewhat in stock or do drops throughout the year, I think that this is and will stay the number one mouse of the year. I said it. I know these are a little bit on the pricey side, but for what you're getting, it's groundbreaking, it's new, it's fresh, it's something that the other companies aren't doing yet, but will do. And normally when companies do it, in my opinion, they don't do it as good as Final Mouse. So Final Mouse, amazing job on this mouse. It's not perfect and it has some room for improvement, but hey, that's just like life, right? You put out something, it might not be perfect and you just continually refine it until it gets to the point that it needs to be at and Final Mouse is getting there. They're getting there, guys. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. It has been your boy BT. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.